Right, welcome back to the uh, second part of the View from the Allotment End um, podcast. Um, this section will concentrate on Old City. Um, the financial results for 2017-18 have just been announced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we've um, done the balance sheet cut, haven't we, I think? Well, <laughs> we're probably going to be by that. <laughs> for those that um, haven't had the misfortune to uh, read through it or I've, I've been privy to it, myself included. I'll hand over to people that know the damn sight more about these sort of things. Pete, in a nutshell, a city in the shit. Um, no. Good answer. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> no, I mean, there, if you look at the accounts of just about any championship club, none of them are a sustainable long term on just what they get through the gate and from television. Very few of them make a profit and generally when they make a profit it's on player sales. Yeah. City have made a handsome profit this season but on player sales. They've now got in the balance sheet £20 million worth of players. So player sales are not going to bring in much income going forward unless there's big improvement in some of the new assignments. So, from a sustainability point of view, you need to be getting as many people into the stadium and get them spending, as we said in the first, first section, footfall. Yeah. Which isn't happening. So, no. should we go back to the key area and the shit then? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. They, they are probably no. You just said we've got no players to sell and we've got no. Yeah, fans, we've probably, so. there's probably another dozen, 15 clubs in, in that, that same boat. Yeah, to, to me it, re- it requires somebody to give it back in, which it's got like, yeah. in, in the arms. They've got £63 million pounds pumped in, in loans, and they had a t- purchase price of... ...that they have taken money out of the club. And this is what is underreported. I know this is... You know, people, people look for evidence of this. Um, the Allens have had tax breaks um, from from City's losses over the years. Yeah, that's about eight million. Yeah, they've had um, masses of interest on the loans to Allen House. Yeah. Um, they've had whatever that they've taken out in, in wages, in dividends, whatever they want to call it, in um, paying themselves. There is money gone out. I find it baffling, especially on the back of having made this huge profit on player sales last year, that we somehow now owe Allen House three million more than last year. And I'm not an accountant, don't claim to be. Um, I've had the same skim over the accounts that all of the other amateur sleuths on Twitter have. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of them, isn't there? There, yeah, there, are, a lot yeah, of, there yeah. are a lot of them and I'm, I'm no different to them. Uh, and I just find that I find the numbers baffling and I find the fact that the asking price is still continues to be huge um, baffling yeah. as well because <laughs> I just think why does this debt not reduce? Why? Why does this I could I could cope with I could cope with everything. Yeah. I, could, I could cope with EAB hating us. Um, I could cope with I could cope with the lack of spending, I could cope with the with the lack of budget, I could cope with losing most weeks. <laughs> if yeah. there was any sign that this debt was reducing and they were going to go. And, and this is the problem, is that, you know, what, what I will find really, really irritating is that after all of these years of, of pain, um, they end up winning handsomely on this deal, this gift to the city. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I didn't say which city, I suppose. Um, but is it fair to say from the accounts, I understand that this time next year is going to be completely different when the TV money runs out and those players out there are <laughs> selling on that. All yeah, of a sudden, that's basically all of a sudden yeah. the, the dark clouds are slowly kind of coming out of the yeah. public Yeah, and they've reduced their costs, the cost base, you know, mainly wages and stuff like that. Whether they've reduced it enough, it, it remains to be seen. I mean, so that's, well, yeah, I, mean, I suspect that was one of the reasons why they seem keen to get rid of Brzezinski in January, because he'll be one of the, yeah, before January, before he'll be one of the higher earners. So oh. this time next year could be a doomsday scenario then in terms of not a lot of money coming in from external sources, i.e. TV. Yeah. Not a lot of sellable assets, i.e. the players. Yeah. Also during that well, we are literally operating on 
fresh air. Yeah, what, what comes in? What comes in? Through the tank which at the moment yeah. is yeah. Which is why when you phrase the sort of question, "Our city in the ships," I think the question is, "Our city in the ship yet?" Yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, it does look. It looks to me fairly bleak for with, without new owners. In a year's time, I mean, what, what did it work out? Like the, the tenor would be something like 14 million yes, a year without um, without the parachute payments, which is, that is a tiny amount, isn't it? To run oh, a yeah, uh, it well, depends yeah. How, you, how you cut and dice it. I mean, if, if you got them to tell you as much as Leeds United, it'd be a lot more. Um, well, they don't sky, don't they? They do, yeah. Uh, it's going to be sub 20 million. Yeah. Um, they can do more. To get people in, and they get getting do more on on the corporate side. Yeah, because um, they've got down seventy five percent of this. But, but at the end of the day, they're, they're a, a struggling championship side. You know, to, there are better options there for for people. You know, for advertising and for sponsorships and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, there'll be less explosions. I mean, sports Pesso will probably be up this year. I think. Will they renew? If they renew, it'll be at a lower rate. Yeah. You know, it's it's very difficult it, it, to make sustainable football. On those sort of level of budgets, you're talking about a bottom end of the championship side. It's inevitable. Mm. Well, I, I, that's what I see. I see in a year's time, we're essentially Rotherham, and Barnsley. Maybe not even Barnsley, they've got yeah, a bit of So, well, that's not some, some of those gates could dwarf what we could possibly hope to get, don't they? Some of in League One get 25,000 through the gate, we're in the championship line that we've got 12,000. <laughs> So because it's time for him to get out, he's probably he's, he's now he's got back to going. You think he's you think he's completely the time to to uh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, time yeah. to have got out was when we yeah. went up on the after beating Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, he get out at the top. But our window, the window's still yeah. slightly open. I think mean, if they if they're out like the top, I mean, like by Christmas. What well, what is when it, it's distorted because the football club accounts still look too bad. Mm. And then you when you bring in the um, stadium management side of things. Um, which I, I still can't get my head around it, why it loses so much money, you know. That that as a business before the Allens, yeah, yeah. always always did. Every time the dividends were very council, yeah, did, it, did a very slight a profit. Thing. Um, and it's it's lost money every year under the Allens, and then this year it's nearly two million quid. Uh, how is that possible? Because they're not spending money on doing the stadium or burning. No, I mean whoever uh, whoever buy if if anybody was to buy a city. Um, they need to make sure they get the steady management company and not be held rat to answer. But certainly, I, I don't know if they're providing dilapidations provisions to, to make good all the, you know, the state. I mean, it needs a complete thorough clean, and it needs complete paint. It's just that's just to shoot that hole yeah. that keeps eating pigeons. Well, no, that's keeping it. That's keeping it. That's keeping That's keeping the shank off the off the seats. But I mean, you, you know, you go into the best bit where the paid seats. They're looking well tattered. Uh, we don't advocate shooting animals or no. no. in any other way. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> cosmetically, you talk about yeah. a huge amount, yeah. and, that, and that's without yeah. anybody, you know, coming and doing a survey and seeing mm. what actual repairs need doing. Yeah. And the stadium done nothing, has it? There's been no concerts, has it, in the last year from memory, you know, what could possibly run up a loss or you know, yeah. have a bit of profit, but... Uh, yeah, well, so, 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 what, was the, what was that, was that last year? That was last summer, yeah. That was, yeah. That was yeah. the accounting period, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, well, see, the, the, the long and that lost too many. Even in Jeffrey. In the Bahamas, presumably. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason, the reason for that is they won't want to relay a pitch. Because mm. generally, when they do the concerts, yeah. they end up relaying the pitches. And that's why I'm but again, if you get it right and you get the right accent, then that should be where they're making money, shouldn't they? I mean, you know, Rover seems to be doing, you know, reasonably well, don't they? Like, you know, Girls Aloud and Polly. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, that's true. But I mean, it would look sad in the Rugby yeah. pitch, rugby pitches and football pitches are not quite the same, are mm. they? Um, no, because rugby pitches just have 26 gorillas around. <laughs> <laughs> Talentless gorillas, aren't no, they? No, I, 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 I think the point is, if. if, if Even Dan Tomlinson. <laughs> how, how are we going to find somebody who's going to come riding in with. 60 or 70 million to pay off the Allens mm. to their satisfaction. There's not 60 million pounds worth of value there, is there, surely? But, well, there's intrinsic value in the sense that you could turn the, you know, the you run in towards the iceberg, you could, you'd still turn to turn it round and, 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 you know, hopefully get some quick wins in getting people in. What the value of that is, I wouldn't like mm. to say, but I mean, realistically, with the possibilities of 
of everything, you think your mum, you might pay 30 million for it. 40 million, that, that stretch. But, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be somebody really rich. Yeah, because you've got money, you've got to put it to the play squad to get it from where it is now to potentially even yeah. pushing for the. For well, the, yes, I mean, that, that, the thing is that can, that can be done over, a, if anybody sensible would do that over a period of time. You get on to, you know, you don't ex, well, like that, I suppose, expect an immediate return. But, you know, if you can see gradual improvement and, and, and things getting better and more in the community and they get the, be the feel good, then you, you're buying yourself a couple of years. The worst thing is you come in is you, you buy a lot of has -beens. You know, I mean, that was... I mean, Bruce, he tried to get Villa up, but it was very much an aged mm -hmm. side. And, and yeah, there were a lot of... But, but when you yeah. talk about retirement again, though, it's, again, you've missed your window for that because last year, it came out of the Premier League, we did have a reasonable... Squad. Squad. Mm -hmm. We had money coming in from very good players who were who were going out. Yeah. A different owner would have reinvested that into trying to turn them back into a Premier League team. This squad has been absolutely decimated in in the last eighteen months. Um, and is now unrecognisable. Like mentioned earlier, you've got Grizicki, um, David Marshall, they're probably the only two players left on a Premier League wage. Yeah. Um, and everybody else is a cheap solution. Is going back to the North Ferriby discussion from part one. It you know is a player who you need to develop, um, and so that rebuilding job now looks fairly huge. A year ago, um, I, th I think you could have seen somebody um, somebody come in and um, a different owner could have turned that squad, I think, into one that would genuinely have been a top six in the championship. We look miles off that now. Yes. Um, and who, whoever comes in, I don't know, I don't know the sort of person who comes and buys Hull City now. I mean, I think, yeah, I think it has to be somebody who really wants to be associated with Hull City. Um, and there aren't many of those, um, not even supporters. <laughs> um, and, and it has to be... I, I, I don't think there's anything there for for anyone, is there? It's it's almost. Um, you might make some people almost. Yeah, there's, it's, no, it's, there's, yeah it's, there's no access. There's, there's, a, there's, a, a, there's a huge risk. There's, there's a huge risk that you're paying for yeah. good. Well, what's what value you place on the goodwill? Mm -hmm. I mean, there are, like I said, easy wins. I think they can easily put a number on the gate, but how big? Whether you can get it up to twenty thousand quickly enough? I don't know that. Yeah. There's a willing if anybody who's shown a willingness to try a few things and to, to try schemes, I mean various aspects have been said, I mean how about a fan park outside or something like that. Yeah, I mean And I think a willingness sorry, I think a willingness to work with the city council mm -hmm. will go a long way. Yeah, that's maybe the key thing in terms of the economics of it. If you can get some of that land around it to redevelop in partnership with the council, yep. then, yeah. that, then there's some money to be made there, isn't it? Because you for everybody. Possibly. I mean, the other thing is, if we're talking very short term, I think there's due a last parachute payment in January, yep. um, and there's money still owed on transfers, I believe. Yep. Um, if you bought the club, when they're talking about possibly selling before Christmas, I think the only advantage of that is that that money is to come. And if if there isn't a sale this side of Christmas, uh, there isn't a sale before January, there isn't a sale before next summer, then you are looking at surely a the asking price is going to have to be tanked, isn't it? Because then there is nothing. There Do is, we there is see no reason to pay maybe for maybe sixty million, million for a club. Mm. Yeah, possibly even in League One, but but there's no reason to then pay fifty, sixty million because you yeah. you're not getting anything back. Would it be a last throw of the dice though by the Allens to invest that yeah. payment come January? Think, what well, <laughs> it's up to players thinking we do need to be in the championship to get some sort of tangible value. If it goes down to League One, we really have. If that was a mentality, sure, it's because like you, you said, when they went down, down last summer, didn't they? When they had that nucleus of a squad, we, we don't, so we don't see that. Anyway. To be fair, I would have said so. No. To be fair, I think no. No, it's not. Okay, it's not the upper end. I think the success of adding so many few players on has maybe thought. They maybe thought, oh, we're good at this. Good at this. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> but <laughs> off, the, off the players that they've got in now, I, I mean, when Klukas came, I thought, oh dear. But he quickly sort of won me over as, as you know, competent. And they got very good fee for him. Yeah. You know, um, 
There's maybe there's, there's Bowen, isn't there, who's still kind of going to attract yeah, him. Yeah, but it's, I mean, not it's, huge. It's not, huge, it's, huge it's, not the, it's not on the strength of the, the current recruitment. No, this no, is no, the thing. No. There's, there's a common denominator in um, we, we have turned some really good profits on a lot of players over the last. Um, over the last few years. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. you can go back further than that to, to your James Chesters and your Robbie Brady's, yeah. um, and to your Sam Clucas's, to yeah. Maguire and Robertson's. Robertson. I think Jared Bowen will be the last one. I um, think Batty might possibly. And the common denominator to all of those things Stan. is either Steve Bruce or uh, Nigel Pearson, mm. and yeah, and probably Stan Turner as well. Mm. Um, with this current recruitment, you know, they're not all bad, um, bad guys at the signing. That you know, decent lads. They will probably progress. Um, some of them. Yeah. But they're not. They're not turning any of these into those sort of players and those sort of profits. It's early days, but I haven't. Se- I haven't seen anybody. A- anybody who, who I thought, oh, they've got someone. Yeah. And and you know, we've when you sort of look at sort of, we've we've bought Kane and Weir, and unfortunately they've been injured a lot, but. You know, they're not youngsters anymore. No. And, and the other problem is, is that the, the lower the club sinks, the less of a negotiating position you're in. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially if you sink into League One, and it doesn't matter that you've turned Reece Burke into a, into a good set of half, because then you get picked up, anyway. get picked up by, by a championship team for half, yeah. you know, half a million a million. Yeah. It, you know, if we were a top six championship team with a, with a very good lad like Reece Burke at 22, then it'll be lower half Premier League teams looking to spend eight and mm. ten million. Yeah. There is a huge difference yeah. um, there. And that's just the, the position we're in. And it's just a shame really, isn't it? Because it's fallen so far so quickly. Um, it's a horrible, horrible club to support at the moment. Um, it, the match day atmosphere is funereal. It's, it's horrendous, really. I mean, I, I, I don't look forward to going to games. Um, I just go because I feel the need to support them. Um, and I feel the need to not be pushed out by the Adams. But it's not enjoyable. No. Um, no. You know, once, you, once you've left the pub, <laughs> it's just you just have to endure the next two hours until yeah, you get back to the pub. Yeah. Um, and it's it's that sort of it's that sort of atmosphere. It's it, it's really it really is horrible. And, and the fans are that divided and. Yeah, everybody's divided about everything, aren't they? And it, I mean, if it, in some ways we always have, but before it was sort of meaningless arguments, like yeah. who should be up front, or yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah, or what the price of a pass should be, or whether you should yeah. turn left or right of a Walter Street car park, and all this other <laughs> utter nonsense. <laughs> that used to come Obviously, I was like, right. I was like, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. I used to come out of fan meetings um, because. The big things just took care of themselves, and this last few years, it's just you know. We're, we're, it, it, There's no football men there anymore, is there? No, no, there are. There are, there are I don't mean, for a while. You know, obviously, there's no interest either. No. You know, to run a, uh, a competitive not, football club. Well, no, I'm mean, trying to go forward. There's not. I don't think there's much interest in anything other than mm. getting their money back. Yeah. There, there is a lot of apathy in the stands. I mean, that, I mean, that that game we were unfortunate to go to the yeah. um the, Derby yeah, the League Cup League game. Cup I mean, game, that yeah. was. That was horrendous, wasn't it? Yeah. It was horrendous on the pitch. And off the pitch, yeah. Well, and off the pitch, it was just, it was toxic. Yeah. It? It, was, it, was, it was horrible. Just sat there watching it from, from, from what it was, what, 10 years, well, not even 10 years ago. Well, the really frightening thing these days is that the most experienced football person in the management um, management level now is the Avalap, which is... And I mean, and, and yeah. That is my man. He doesn't know anything he's about anything. He, 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 he is running... He's running the joint, um, and that's yeah. well, we that's, that's where the neglect comes from. Yeah, that's yeah, where we saw the like transfer negotiation. I think in the summer with the various lads from Scotland, didn't we? We were like, you know, we'll give you fifty p for him. No, you ten off and we'll still give you fifty p for him. Yeah. And yeah, our final offer is fifty p. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was fifty p in one go. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Not fifty p. His first offer was probably fifty p over seven years. Yeah. <laughs> But like, yeah, like, like, yeah, he thinks he's better, he obviously knows more than he does, doesn't he? He obviously <laughs> thinks he's kind of a, a shrewd operator and... and do, do we see any, any um, shoots of improvement or how, how, are we operating yes. at our maximum or is there, you know, something no, I th- I promise? Think I think there's more to come. Um, I think in fairness, uh, they've, they've played well in spells uh, this season. They've, 
had a couple of a couple of games where they look competent. There's definitely room to grow there because there, there are a lot of um, a lot of players in their early mid twenties um, who can, who can bring each other on. Um, and in fairness, I think they actually made two good signings on uh, the low mm. deadline day. That weird weird deadline day that wasn't a deadline day. Um, mm. Signed Chris Martin and Tommy Elphick in some rare signs of actually bringing in experienced players who yeah. actually want a wage. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, and, and they were good signings. And Grizzicky stayed. Who, you know? I think there'll be three ways. He could be asked. He could yeah. be. Which is the bottom line. He could be less player in the league. Um, I think there'll be three West teams. That's, that's the one thing that worries me is that some of the teams I had picked as West in us have started well, like Wigan and Bolton, for instance. Yeah, um, obviously Bolton must have taken a hit though this weekend with the so, new brush with administration. But there's some huge games coming up, obviously, having yeah, Ipswich next and then Wigan. Um, yeah. they're, they're massive yeah. games against teams who we'd expect to be in the bottom six, eight at the end of the season. So uh, they're huge games. I think Reading, Reading's coming up very shortly as well. They've started appallingly. Um, so it's, yeah, there, there's, some, there's some big games coming. It's not, it's not all doom and gloom on the pitch, but um, the thing is, when you look at the last game before the international break, didn't get what they deserved against Derby, did they? Um, and when you can't, down, can't when you gift teams to no. girls, and unfortunately it's still a fragile confidence. Yeah. Thing that we had a couple of years ago, we seem to sort of like to concede, and it's just shoulders down and um, yeah. yeah, lacking but, the fighting spirit. But time. when you're down there and you're playing well and still losing, yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's that goes back to that leadership thing, doesn't it? They make experienced players and they're not there, are they? You know, yeah. no one can kind of get amongst the lads and thing, get the rest back and get that them was going. That cup game when was it? Is it McDonald? Did they call him? Yeah, 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 it was, it was alongside Curry, around, yeah. and Curry was arguably the better of the two players. McDonald made a couple but, yeah. of sloppy mistakes and you can yeah, see yeah, yeah. it just, just went didn't it, yeah. I, I agree with Nick, I think we'll probably just about scrape our way up yeah. and stay up, but I'm not I mean any, any, anything above sort of like nineteenth is probably a bonus. Yeah. And I think realistically they have to. I mean that, that I would I would it wouldn't be the end of the world for me if they went down. Um, I'd quite enjoy the trips in, in League One because to be quite honest. The championship. Uh, everybody talks about what great league it is, but if you're not trying to get out of it, it's not as tedious. I mean, I mean um, not in danger of saying that we don't mind being out of the Premier League, we'd rather be in the Championship because of the trips. Now we're saying we'd rather be out of the Championship because we don't mind the trips in the League One. Well, I haven't said I'd rather be in the Premier League, but no, but no I mean, I, it wouldn't bother me, but but yeah, that's that's the thing is for, for, the, for the club and for the city, um, it needs a club at that level. Um, and, and you know, I said this uh, a few months ago, but when you look back at what the work people like Adam Pearson, Peter Taylor did, uh, Phil Brown, Steve Bruce, to, to, to drag this club kicking and screaming out of the real dark ages yeah, yeah, um, yeah, into the highest level it'll ever be. Um, and to see, you know, it's, it's bad enough having to support a club that the Allen's own, but to see them destroy it and to see them leave it yeah. there would be, that, that would be really sickening. And the fact that they can still walk around the city is just crazy. Um, it's funny actually as you touched on earlier the very similarities between Ferriby and City and, and I know it's at a massively different level but the, the two have mirrored each other for the last yeah, I think, I four think or five years haven't they you know that, sort of, that peak and then that massive decline is yeah. is evident at both and it's you know maybe it's a coincidence but the sort of Alan Costa family <laughs> losing interest in yeah. both clubs mm. uh, is, um, yeah. is 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 yeah, it's yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> so I, think, I think to, to go back to our old friend, Mr. Waltham, the one thing he kind of got right at Ferriby was he said he needed some local identity back and a bit of pride in the club. And fact, I think that's evident at Ferriby, but it's not a city, is it? There's no, there's no sort of identity, is it? There's no, no, there isn't. I mean, no it, it, it is sense. the shining light, is that yeah. there, there are some young, good young players coming through. You, you are getting to see lads who are coming through the system, um, some, some local lads. Um, some, some aren't. Is that necessity more than ability? Yeah, but it, it's... Yeah, to, mm. yeah. but I, th well, I think it is ability, because they're, they're playing that, you know, don't forget, we, so the last sort of players that we brought through, really, who were first-team regulars, came through in League... Mm. Or, I mean, what would be now League 2, um, guys like Mike Edwards and, you know, uh, Adam Boulder. There's not, there's not been many since then um, who've come through and been really first-team really players. Yeah. So, and these lads are doing it at at a pretty high level for for us so that's that's the shining light but 
other than that, uh, yeah, you're right. There's, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing about this city in that in that team and in that squad. And as much as I mean, Nigel Atkins talks about it a lot. I'm sure he would love to to, to make it like that, wouldn't he? And he, he, yeah. he he knows he knows what he's doing, but he, there isn't the support there. Exactly the same as Ferry. Yeah. They've, they've got a good manager. They've got a good guy in Chris Boulder. Um, but, you know, he knows what he needs to do. But fortunately, there, there isn't any backup yeah. there at City. The only thing you would say is it's not, you know, a fair bit, it's because nobody's there with any money. There is no income, there is no, um, you know, there aren't 10,000 fair bit fans just waiting yeah, for yeah. Um, Jamie Waltham to go so that they can come back. <laughs> ten. There's ten, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, there's ten fair bit fans in that situation. Um, at, at City, it's, it's neglect and it's deliberate neglect and it's yeah. unforgivable. Yeah, I mean, to be successful. Clubs in this area have got to be community based mm. and have a strong link. It's not like Leeds in West Yorkshire where if you live in Shipley or you live in Bradford you can just pop yeah. on a train to watch yeah. Leeds. You know, it's if if you're not from the city, the, the catchment area is big, but it's not densely populated. And no. people, you know, you, you get people from within places like that, but who it, it from you know, yeah. yeah, but I mean pockets. <laughs> pockets, yeah, yeah, but I mean if you live realistically, if you lived in Selby, what's if you wasn't a Hull lad, what's what's going to draw you to Hull? Yeah, but you can right. you easily just pop on the train down to Leeds or Sheffield. Yeah. Cheap beer and no swimming. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it is, isn't it? And if you neglect like that, so people can yeah. give a toss about the yeah. local clubs, but then how do you expect to sort of progress? Mm. So yeah. it's fans in India, in China. I mean, Dave, we're going back to the dark days when 20 years ago there was buses full of um, Hull people supporting Leeds United and making a 60 mile trip over to. I think, um, I, I think it's different. I think it's different now in the sense that you've got a lot of armchair fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Football it's just, it's, yeah. 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 yeah, it is. But the funny situation is, you know, you go back. What was it? Ten years ago, we went into the Premier League, and Leeds were Leeds didn't get out of League One. Um, you, you, very realistic possibility that next year we're two divisions below Leeds, um, which mm. you know for some is the natural order, but um, not for me. <laughs> no, but but um, yeah, that's that's quite some turnaround, isn't it? And it's. I think you're right. It's neglect, isn't it? It is neglect, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, is neglect. Neglect, and it's, uh, it's a shame. And. and you can find a very good sort of like similarity with say Aberdeen in Scotland. Mm. It's way out of the way and it's been successful, it's had its up and down. But again, it's, it's trying to be a very close knit community club. And I've, I've, when I've been up there and I've chatted to people and I said, well, on a Saturday, down this street would be 10 coaches or more. And they're going to yeah, Rangers Glasgow, yeah. or Saturday. From Aberdeen, yeah. and that's what you've got to battle against. Yeah, yeah, you know, you've got to get that identity. You've got to get that. We are Aberdeen. We are Hull. Yeah, yeah. They've somewhat missed the boat in that respect, aren't they? And, and excluding future generations, probably yeah. is, is only going to yeah. pass a bit. Yeah. Well, in fairness, look, they've got the slogan this year. They haven't got the attitude, but they've got the slogan. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you're battling against Rugby League as well, aren't you? And Hull have obviously had a couple of good years winning the Challenge Cup. Yeah, but I think, to be uh, fair, Pete, yeah, so the, 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 there's, still, there's still plenty of people who go to both. Mm. But, yeah, but I mean, I'm sure there'll be someone who wants a city and, you know, and kind of let the season pass his laps and maybe start with... Possibly, I mean, if yeah. money's tight and such, yeah. but, I mean... Are you gonna, I can't imagine there's too many people who, who, who are lifelong football supporters who mm. jack it in for rugby. Personally, that's my, my view. No. But certainly, there's certainly a lot of people who are finding something better to do on a Saturday. Yeah, it's getting them back in again, isn't it? It is getting them back yeah, in. Yeah, I think it's the whole socio-economic thing isn't it? in terms of there are other distractions these days, there are other ways to get your attention on a Saturday afternoon. And that's, 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 the, that's the danger that City are falling into, that these 10, 12, 15,000 missing faces are doing something else. Yeah, and, and, and there is a possibility of that, because the, you know, if you look at after the heydays of the... Fifties, uh, sixties, um, mid eighties, um, all of those times um, gets gets dropped up and went successful again and never recovered for um, you know again a five, ten years yeah. a decade yeah. um, so but that's that's the that's the bed but it, the, the only 
good thing would be if we could get taken over, if somebody comes in. So many easy wins mm -hmm. and so many yeah. bridges to build yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that you'd hope, um, you'd hope that you know even people like you two got a fair bit more than far, far far more more than city these days. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be back. We'll be bringing the kids and the grand grandchildren, but. Um, certainly, something. Grandchildren. 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 <laughs> the thing is, is, it doesn't have to be every game. Yeah. No, but no. something has to change. No, there's, that, there's, that, there's that, you know, because we've got Upper West completely empty. Even if people only came to half a dozen games, mm. it'd make a significant yeah, difference. Absolutely. No, no, right, not, every, you know, not everybody wants to go to every, every match, especially when you're in a championship, because there's a lot of unappealing games. Yeah, I think I think you're right. What you're saying, I think people would. Me personally, I would slowly um, start to go more often. Probably go more often, yeah. And, yeah. and my, you know, my grandkids are getting to that stage where, at an age where I wanted to go to football, six seven years of age, a couple of years time, they'll be six or seven years of age. Where am I going to take them? The obvious step is they'll start out at therapy, and if they get to like football, hopefully by then regime change, etc. We might be able to go to Full City and progress and sit down, and pay X amount, and watch the football if. That's the path they choose to take. But that's, it, that's the, the dream, isn't it? Yeah, but it has to change quickly, doesn't it? And it just we, we've been saying this for three years now, so it doesn't change. But no, no. they have to go. Yeah. They they have to go, and and I can't see what's in it for them to no. stay, other than possibly you know all the cynics will say it's the last parachute payment. Good, take it, there put it go. put it in the bank, sell the club to somebody who wants it, and go, and that's. That has to happen. Do you know what my best bit of the, this week has been? Uh, somebody tweeted me. Um, Rich, 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 no, Rich Mathers tweeted me a clip from I think it was Sutton Coalfield or something. And they're ultras. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tiny little stand. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing. Then he was playing um, the, the tequila. tequila. And the daft buggers, but they were enjoying it. And you don't have that level of pleasure at a city game anymore, do you? Well, no, that's why we all watch everybody else as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no place in modern well, football to enjoy that's, that's, that's the truth of that, isn't it? You, yeah. you go to football to enjoy yourself. No, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. No, you I'm not like, you I'm just go to a show at the Well, yeah, I'm sure I'll show the arms football, but... Um, <laughs> I don't like a game selected opposition footballers. <laughs> oh. Like, I remember three of my grandfather on Tuesday. She's a game for me, you know. But yeah, you should go to enjoy yourself, shouldn't you? That's the yeah. bottom. Uh, there is there is little pleasure gained from being there, and, and you yeah. know I sometimes sit there and think, what am I doing here? Yeah. Oh, well, that cheerful note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On that note, um, we're going to go chuck ourselves off Umber Bridge. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> zero prospects for all city. Uh, we'll wrap up the city section, and hopefully next time we report on. Uh, um, all cities, um, something might have changed, something for the better, hopefully. Uh, we'll be back in uh, section three as long as the battery runs out. Uh, we'll talk all things non league football uh, in the local area and just a few football snippets at the end.